right, so we got this holster from T-Rex Arms in. We're doing the unboxing of it. Got the Pivo up. Pivo sees me. What up, Pivo? What up, me? Anyways, we're going to see what it's like. Let's check it out. All right. So always packaged nicely. Shipping was probably about, I'll say seven, seven, eight days from time of order to time of delivery. It took a couple of days to fulfill and, you know, the, sh the regular shipping. So I got um, a sidecar holster from T-Rex Arms It's for the Glock. My Glock 23 right here, 40 caliber. Um, same frame as the Glock 19 for what it's worth. I have one uh, inside the waistband holster. Um, one that also takes my weapons light and uh, optic or red dot. I forgot I got it in red. <laughs> I got it in red, I forgot, completely forgot. So. It's pretty much came assembled already. This part swivels in, so it's a part for your actual pistol and a part for your, your mag. You see the extra mag, and it's for the appendix carry inside the belt loop. So Kydex, pretty durable, hard plastic. Got some rivets in here. All this stuff is adjustable. It's, <clears throat> some of them is kind of loose here. I'm gonna go ahead and snug them, snug a few of these points up before, once I get my fitment right. Um, this is another, uh, if you wanna take off the, the mag holder, you can just put this other clip right here and it'll just be the holster only. Um, decal. Instruction manual with QR code instructions. So that's all the hardware. So I try to put it up together. And I like T-Rex arms because he has used the QR code and he has video demonstrations of how to put his stuff together. So that's pretty cool. In case you get, in case you need some help. A couple of extra these old rings, these squish rings. Always good to have those. And just his disclaimer. All right, so let's see how the fitment works. Right now I don't have the old light on there. Let's see if it fits without the old light and then we'll come back and we'll put the old light on and see how it fits. This video is brought to you by Glock, Food Lion, and Lil Bites. If you ain't try these crumb cakes, try them. They're unbelievable. I had to grab some things anyway from upstairs, so I went ahead and put my red dot and my old light on, and I grabbed my extra mag. So let's get it. So we got everything set up, old light, mag, red dot, and the fitment inside the holster is perfect. Nice snap to it, has great retention. It's not gonna fall out. This moves with your body, so it goes to the most comfortable spot. That was me, my bad. Let me draw it out. No light. Light. So yeah, I think the fitment and there's no scratch points. Everything is smooth, especially on the inside portion where your body's gonna be. So no snugs or no scratch points or anything like that. This part is even rounded and polished just to ensure that. So, so far, so good. All right, so the fitment on this is pretty good. Um, I'm not wearing a concealed carry belt, so I had to kind of turn my belt off to the side, you know, buckle it at three o'clock. So sometimes I gotta do that, um, just depending on what belt I'm wearing. But as far as the fitment, it's pretty good. It sits nice and high in front. Even if I was just wearing a t-shirt, it's a t-shirt by itself. It's, it's not really printing that much as long as it's loose on the, on the bottom. So the fact that I got a t-shirt and a sweater on and another layer, so you, you will never see what I'm carrying with this. So I think the concealment factor on this is, you know, A1. 
Uh, as far as getting from the drill, I can get my thumb under and I can get three fingers. That's all you need, three fingers. Then you'll be able to pull up, pull out, and draw. So as far as getting it back in, I don't really care about that, but it's, that was pretty smooth nonetheless. So boom, in case you gotta pull a mag, boom, it's right here, insert. I think the mag placement is, is pretty key too. I don't think there's no issue with that at all. I think that's in the, the perfect spot. And it's nice and quick. And it's, they give you the option to, to have different depth mag holders for extended mags and whatnot. So all in all, you know, you see it doesn't even bulge out a lot. But you still can get to it and draw. So I give it a thumbs up. As far as fitment, it did A-OK -okay with the fitment test. It was easy to put on, easy to take off. I had to adjust my belt a little bit, no issue with that. Um, getting uh, the grip was very accessible, like this cutout. The mag was very, the mag hold was in a very great place um, as far as drawing it and, and getting it back up. So I give this holster really a, a nine out of 10. I can get one area of improvement. Um, I don't know. Right now, I don't have an area of improvement. Let me use it for a couple of days, a week or so, and I'll get back to you with that part. Till then, peace.